you guys. So, we're going to replace the math sensor on this Volvo. Um, here's a part number if you guys want to get this particular part for this vehicle. Bosch is what we're using. Comes nicely packed. Okay. This is what it's going to look like. Just like that. And if you look at an arrow right here, there's an arrow. And there's an arrow. So make sure you put these guys just like that. So what we're going to do is we're going to leave this to the side. We don't want to remove the covers yet. So first of all, a lot of people would like, oh, we have to disconnect the battery. No, you don't need to disconnect the battery. You could do it with the battery on. So what you want to do is you want to squeeze this at the same time. Since I'm, I'm holding the camera with one hand, you need to squeeze and you can lift this up a bit right there. And this guy should just disconnect okay she's probably a one in the bottom as well but in our connector there's only one okay there's only one i believe so so what we need to do next is take a flathead screwdriver loosen up this clamp right here and this duct pipe these are hard duct pipes so it's gonna be hard for you guys to remove this so if you want to use a little bit of leverage with your flathead screwdriver that might help and what you want to do here is just want to push on that so you get this it's, it's moving around but it's not coming off so a lot of times you remove this housing but no need to do that let's go further uh let's use this uh this is what this is t25 we're gonna loosen up this bolt do not lose this bolt very important okay still in there and there's one in the bottom over here okay there's two bolts they like screws okay and my ratchet just turn directions there you go but once it's loose enough you should be able to get this guy off by hand. Okay, still working on it. I'm using my fingers from this side. There you go. Don't lose on this bolt. Put it somewhere safe. Same thing here. Don't lose it. Got them both sitting over here. Now what we're gonna do here is this thing should break apart. Okay. It's a little bit stiff. It might help if we remove our filter housing. So let's do that now. There should be should have been at three clamps, one, two, and three. But this side it just comes out of there. But just by doing that, it should pop up out of there. And what we're gonna do here is now is the time where you need both hands. You want to grab this side and pull this side. So let me set up my camera. I'll probably leave my camera on top of this. Okay, my light is reflecting too much, but there's no metal anywhere. It's a magnetic light. So I'm going to try to fish this guy out. That light's even going in my eyes. Wow. Okay. So I'm going to have to just pull on this guy really hard. Yeah. That's all it is. Because this light is just killing me. Okay, this is gonna be the hard part here. There's no way I can get this guy off. I'm losing this up. Maybe this clamp can just go get the hell out of my way. Okay, there you go. That's much better. But this plastic is so rough that it will not let go of that sensor housing. And we do not want to heat this guy. Wow, go get a pick. Okay, I'm gonna got something sharp so you can fish this guy out of here. But you don't want to be pushing this and boom, it go stab some pipe or hose or something. But once you lift it up like that, you should be able to put your screwdriver in there. Okay, and open it up a bit all around. Let's try to go all around. 
such a brittle plastic. Come on. Oh. This thing is not letting go. There you go. We this is fine. You can heat it up a bit, but we got the mass airflow sensor out. So what we're gonna do is remember the airflow facing that way. So let's take one of these off. You don't want any dirt and debris on this guy at all whatsoever. Okay. Ah, there you go. Let's bring the clamp back. We're not gonna lock up the clamp, but we might have to move it around a bit. So we're just gonna tighten it so it stays here. Okay, so one thing I would say is I had a customer here, but that's fine. So this thing has a one big o-ring right here. So if you want to put a little bit of lube, even a dirty dirty 40 will do. So let me get something on my finger because right now I'm looking around which way to go. Okay, so I got a little bit of WD-40 in my finger. Just go all around the seal. That will that will make it really easy for you to snap on the sensor there. So I was running around looking around because with the camera in your hand, you really don't know. I uh, only have one hand. But anyways, uh, my camera mount broke. So I've been struggling for days and I haven't even ordered another one. So once this thing aligns, you should be able to push these two together. Ah, come on. There you go. And they should snug right in. So once it's snugged in, we'll get the bolts in. Okay, so there you go. There you go. And this is bolt on, bolt on. And sensor, 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 Okay, okay. Uh, come on, 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 come on